Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting dream to episode 4 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> Between this and thinking about Kingdom Hearts, like, I can't do too much today. Hmm? <sighs> Oh, we're going with the Grimm's version? Oh. God, that's so sad. She's so precious! Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna love her. I already love her because of the the goat, the goat <laughs> once again. <laughs> oh, but I feel like she's gonna. I don't know. I feel like her story is gonna make me cry a lot. I think the last time I had like a really really good cry cry was between. Hagato and then um anything about best girl Yukari from Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl about because the fact is that I saw a lot of myself in her. Then you also got to think about Healing Good cuz Healing Good made me cry anytime for freaking Nadoka in like the first two three episodes of having someone who's like, "Oh hey, I used to be sick too growing up and this is what it was like and it sucked and then she was able to, you know, outgrow it like myself, even though I still get sick really bad sometimes. You know, not to the point where I've had an asthma attack, but thank God that hasn't happened since high school. Thank God. But because it is now spring is coming, it's still a possibility and don't want that to happen. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that drink looks yummy. Or, you know what? You could just make your own club. Okay, see, Mana, you can't do every club. I mean, that's just because you are a pink carry, you can't do everything. question <laughs> or just like magical girl club I mean it could work No. Wouldn't it be funny that, like, if they showed research to all the previous shows? <laughs> yeah. Well, that girl might have it. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, 
it's just it's so weird to listen to her voice and okay and knowing who her VA is and she sounds nothing like her two iconic characters Yeah, you need to go more into fiction. Oh my god, thank you. You know what I Sad day. <laughs> no, she's just so freaking precious. Maybe. Laura. <laughs> or, you know, she could be someone who's really, really good at killing titans, you know? Or really, really good at writing, like, nice, heartwarming love letters. Or letters to just anyone. Oh, well, damn, I want to read that. Well, I think we kind of know what the heck she's going to be by the end of this series. Oh. But it seems like you, like, to write, though. 
don't say that it was interesting. Okay, hold on. Let me just say something real quick. What if the girl who read her story is freaking um, Careful Mingo? Even though I don't think that would happen, but she is tall, so that could happen. Mm. No, she's going to make it. She'll do fine. Hmm. could take me to the <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> really, Laura? <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god, Laura. <laughs> oh, My God, Laura! You have to see yourself as beautiful and desirable. Mm. Yeah, you can. Oh, God, see you. 
Oh my god, this child, I can't. And we know by the end of this, you're going to have a whole bunch of confidence. How do you know if you haven't tried it? I think she was there. Okay, whatever. No, I'm gonna. We're gonna. Mm hmm. Okay. It's a pretty name, though. I feel like the VA is familiar to me. Just can't think about it right now. You can. You're just in your head a little too much. I honestly thought she would have said I would have write a story for myself, but that's okay. I don't know why, but her hair kind of just reminds me of pudding from Tokyo Mew Mew for some weird reason. Maybe it's because they're both yellow magical girls. I don't know. It's just there. It's cute. <laughs> Never had an actual papaya, though.
Oh, she's so precious. <laughs> okay, Miss you like the pretty. <laughs> okay, Miss Little Meadowy. She is just once again freaking precious. Like I can't. It's too much. I'm glad that her story her honestly her first episode appearance is really good i mean you know for the first three episodes of these girls for their individual appearances and you know everybody's seeing them ish honestly this is some top notch ish and thank you i love it so freaking much um it makes you wonder who was the girl or person who said that ish to me today? i just want to talk you know mm -hmm, that's all we just want to have a really nice good calm conversation no no words anything no beat ups or anything we just want to talk we want to know why you probably made me don't even cry because she seems very very precious like i feel like she's going to be even though she is the oldest i think her and um from mingo are the oldest of this group um she might be the one who might possibly break down the most i'm not 100 percent sure between her and songo maybe because I mean, Songo is voiced by Kirby, so I feel like Kirby is going to have a couple of moments where, yes, our lovely little Nadeshko is probably going to cry a couple of times, and, you know, Mama Mikasa and Mama My Raftalia is going to have to come and comfort their children, you know, every single week. Because, and it's going to be good! I honestly cannot wait to see all four of these girls together, plus Laura with, you know, her slide remarks and, you know, her shade. <laughs> <laughs> and I think also next week that's when we're officially going to find out which transformation is Deuce's favorite transformation because you know mm, I think some people probably know who I'm going to pick but I'm going to keep that like under wraps because I'm going to wait. I need to see everybody's transformation except the final final cure whenever the heck she's going to come in. Because of course we know it's going to be on the same bar as the other four. If not a little bit better because to me sometimes um, they're <laughs> usually the first three or four or five uh, pretty cures you get their transformation. And then when the final one comes in the final one always looks so much freaking better than the first four four, five, whoever, and you'd be looking like, so this is where you put all your money for, for the budget, toll animation, I mean, I'm just saying, but, yeah, me and I mean, she's adorable as heck, I love her, she's just cute as a button, and the fact that she's also voiced by freaking Violet Evergarden slash Mika Seth from Attack on Titan is just the cherry on top, I mean, seriously, I, I've said it once again, like, every single week now, this is a freaking week four, week four, week four, yeah, yeah, week four, Week four, and once again, the goats are just coming in, and there's, you know, they're saying they're itch and, and such, and I freaking love it because, like I said, the last time we had something like this where everybody was a goat was, um, Go-Go, and, and that was such a long time ago, and at that time when you had those, uh, female seiyus in so many different things and big iconic roles for you know their livelihood that possibly it's a possibility that some of them are still currently playing those play uh, those same characters as of now and such and to see you know out of the four well no out of the five um two no three of them are in long running series and two of them are in like other things that i kind of want them to be in longer running roles and the ones that are in the two that is um Manatsu and uh, Sungo's VAs because they've only been in like some things that have only lasted like a season or two and such. Unlike freaking um, <laughs> Laura's VA who's in Sora Online and that's still going, or freaking um, Kira Flamingo's VA who is in not only Bunny Girl Senpai, which is still one of probably her most big iconic kind of roles besides some of the other things that I haven't seen that she's done. Plus, uh, Shield Hero, which is getting a second season. Heck, she's in Jujutsu Kaisen, and that's about to end next week. Um, even though we still have the second half of season one, when eventually that comes. And then freaking Papaya, our Papaya, our Mikasa, <laughs> our Violet Evergarden, the Queen. I'm just saying, because, like, 
her series is about to end in in the next few weeks and so especially with the fact is that we are so close to the end of that show and she's officially about to go off and do something else better and and such and how there are some people who still kind of say like oh like she's all he or she's always going to be known for this like if you've seen um harry potter or twilight or the hunger games and such and how the actors go on to bigger and better things but they're always going to be known as this character from this series and that's going to be kind of the same thing with her and really some kind of the other vas it just depends but i don't know but yeah this episode was really good and next week is going to be uh, a really awesome i think with cure flamingo and from what we've seen in this little promo, um, she's gonna kind of probably remind me of Makoto from Sailor Moon. She already kind of does in a way. I mean, we haven't seen her truly done, like, the girly aspect of things. And honestly, I cannot wait to see how she's going to do it. But because of the fact is she's very, like, a type of girl who likes to work out a lot um, she is a little more muscular, uh, not muscular muscular, but she has muscles and there's nothing wrong with that because there's a lot of people who say like females who do not have, who, no, females that do have muscles aren't pretty and they are pretty. You just need to not be an a-hole. I'm just saying. But, um, she is more of, uh, like, she, she's more of a tomboy. That's what, that's what she is. But I, I honestly cannot wait to see how she's going to you know, develop her tomboy slash girly, girly girlness because, you know, you can see that freaking, um, Sango and Manatsu, they are the girly girls of this group. Um, Mironin is more of, like, she doesn't know where she is. She's, like, she, she, I would still consider her kind of a girly girl, but not, like, to the <laughs> no okay let let's call freaking um Manatsu and Sang uh, and Sango like the Garus of this group and then uh Mironin is like the regular chill girly girl and then you have Kira Mango's character who, who I cannot remember her actual name right now um just her resident tomboy girly girl aesthetic and stuff and I think really this is something that everybody who's truly watching this show, whether it is someone who's around my age in their 20s or someone who was younger than me, we're all getting like something of a, of a, of a I can't say it right, oh my god, of a aesthetic. Everything is aesthetically pleasing. I mean, because like the outfits, I love all of them. Heck, they literally, I think it was like yesterday I tweeted, well, yeah, because yeah, mm, it'll be sun, Sunday when you guys see this, Saturday or Friday morning there was like a picture that I saw of the four girls and like different outfits. I think Sungo was kind of wearing a different version of her outfit and such but all four outfits looked so good and it just kind of showed their characters. I think the best outfit was kind of Mana because Manasu I mean everybody has really good style in this show and honestly I cannot wait to see how like they're mm, technically we're in summer um yeah, more a little bit more of their summer kind of fall and winter wardrobe's going to look. Because if it's going to, mm, that little taste that I got, I think it's going to be even phenomenal and way more better. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode five. Bye, guys.